Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are at the barn already. Uh, show season, it's three weeks, you guys. Not even three weeks, I think. Yeah, three weeks until our first show. Chance is laying down. So, so if you found Chance laying down, she has a, <coughs> a picture, it's adorable. Some horses don't even lay down for like a long time after they go to a new home because it takes them a while to feel comfortable. I think probably the best thing that we've done for this boy so far is find him a field mate that is super Lay kind to him. him. Was he laying down too? Yeah. Oh, they were both laying down? Yeah. Two chestnuts and they were laying down. I wish I had gone to see it. But he feels so comfortable. He didn't like me telling him to get up. Yeah. Were you having a nap? Hey, were you having a nap? Yeah. So tell them what happened to his halter. Once I put his halter on and I was trying to get him up, he decided, well, I'm going to roll a little bit. So Move him over so I can see. So now we need to get him new. So he rolled <laughs> and he is muddy. Sylvia, you have your work cut out for you. Oh, the poor halter. Yeah, the poor halter. <laughs> it's actually windy and kind of cold here. When we left the house, it was so warm. I didn't bring a jacket. But the wind is blowing right through this barn and I'm frozen. We think he has two shoes. Sounds like he has two shoes. So Chance actually thinks that Chino's his friend, recognizes him as his leader. <laughs> and Grayfin. And Grayfin calls out to them. And now the arena while I was on him. Too. Yeah. He's like, wait, my friend is leaving. <laughs> but he was mean to you. I know that you like him to keep you safe, but he is not a very nice friend. All right, I'm going to try and clean this up for Sophie. She wanted to keep it so clean. I think I got it clean. You need a bucket of water? Well, yeah, his leg and bellies are like that. I'm going to hang it in the sun and let it get clean. Let it get dry. Good? Does it... What? That's just wet. <laughs> oh, my God. So, <laughs> Sophie says equestrians smell everything. <laughs> what a girl. Let's set it on our nice black fan and see if it can dry out because it's still a little bit dirty. Here, do you want a cloth? Sophie's like, I need water. I need water to clean my horse. Here, use this cloth. Why'd you stick it in? Don't get him too wet though because we don't want him cold. Brush into the water and then brushing him. So Ooh. that it like gets the... So uh, how do you feel about your horse only being 16.3? Eh, it's better. Yeah, it's better. It's better. A lot better. Those nice ears though. <laughs> I was looking at the video of Sophie riding. What the heck is happening here? <laughs> I just... I didn't even hear! See, this is what happens when you're a parent and you're trying to think of everything. You're trying to... Anyways, what the heck? Alright, what is happening? Oh, you're just this bridle path? Oh, are you going to trim that? Look at how fast his mane grew. I know. I want to trim it, but I also don't. I also need a mane brush, too. You want me to get you a mane brush? Sure. And we'll trim it with razors. Did, so this is what she's trimming right here. So, so did you guys know that if a horse has hind gut ulcers, not gastric ulcers, but hind gut ulcers, then they often have nutritional deficiencies which will cause them to have like really bad feet which is so super common with thoroughbreds and also more common in a thoroughbred to have a hind gut ulcer anyways one of the signs is like of nutritional deficiency is a horse that has really bad feet and chance has really good feet <laughs> so that's a positive sign what okay So Sophie's not riding today. She's just gonna clean him and play he with him. Has to be clean. I think we take him out in the outdoor arena. But he has to be clean. Like I can't ride dirty. Yeah. Oh, she's washing him down. It's still too cold. It's still cold. Said in the sun, it's a little bit warmer, but in the barn, it's freezing. Or so you want me to actually get you a thing to do his mane because it's like close to riding season, show season. So uh, one thing that um, I wanted to tell you guys that didn't get in our riding video last night. I was watching our riding video, two things. One thing that I noticed about Chance is that his ears he's are always picked forward. They're always perked forward when he's riding. 
And then the other thing I noticed, you guys know he's been in a, in a training program for the last year. And he's so funny in the lesson program. In the past, we've ridden horses that, like you guys remember Blue at the old barn? Literally, when I would have a lesson on Blue, I would sit on him and he wouldn't even pay attention to me. He would listen to what Fiona was saying and then he would go and do what Fiona was saying. And last night, Chance was so funny, like, he would be in the middle waiting for his turn and then when the people that were out on the rail were done and they stopped like cantering and stuff, then he, every time he knew when it was supposed to be his turn and he would like <laughs> try and go and start his turn. It was just funny because he's one of those kind of horses that pays attention and watches and notices and I think that's what helps to make him so not spooky and so not it's reactive is because he's like a thinking horse. How short do we want to cut it? She know how short. Gabby had her ha hair cut this week too. When we say take it all off, Tino, he's like, I hear something. <laughs> that much left of Finn's hair. And I'm like, no. I like Finn's hair. She's gonna do what her hairdresser did, start small. Yes, start small. Are you nervous? Hey, are you nervous about this? Don't be nervous. I'm gonna fix up all the long strands in the hand. So she's just going to kind of do like a little trim with this and then come in and trim it up with the, with her scissors. We also pull mane, but she cut this up to like here, not that long ago. Oh yeah. And now it's suddenly so long again. This guy grows hair fast. Oh, there it goes. I've seen in the comments, some people get really bent out of shape over the mane and the haircut. Well, and for us... I am a child, I can't do any better. And for us, she's learning. And for us, I'm hair just grows back. Like I said, he just grew back so much hair recently. Live and learn. She used to try one thing and then learn from it and then try another thing. when the wind blows it. She said that if Brandon makes fun of her haircut, she's going to remind him about the first haircut that she gave Chino. No, that he. That he gave Chino. Long wow, his hair is really thick. I know. It never yeah. used to be this thick. Now you know my struggle. Yeah. So you're going to have to like pull it a little maybe. Yeah, well. Are you ready to ride now, Chino Bambino? He's like, no, thank you. <laughs> So this big guy, this guy spooks the same way that Penny spooks. He just stops and looks. It's been warm all day and the arena is drying up really nicely. We had a ton of rain recently. We're back. You don't have your what? Coffee crisp. Coffee crisp. Gabby didn't get her chocolate bar. Today's video will be me sitting on the bench outside the arena, just watching the girls with their ponies. Having a rest, enjoying this beautiful sunny day. Chino is spicy, he hasn't been ridden for a couple of days because of the shoe. Oh well, I mean, when I say spicy, obviously it's not like wild spicy. Our horses are all really calm. I love seeing her on Chino. Sophie's going live with Chance, introducing him to some of her followers. Three followers. Three followers. He's looking the wall. Yeah. <laughs> so I also had a broom and he tried to bite it in half. Where's the broom? No, don't let him bite it in half. Yes, they said yes and sure. Okay, so who do they have who do you have here? Read um, out their names. Jo underscore Jordan underscore thirteen. And then Holly Darcy 22. Awesome. And then the other well, that's super cool. Say thank you for coming to my live. Thank you for coming to my live. Yeah. Keep it going with walking the pants down to Oh, okay. Chino is headed out. It smells in here. She uses stuff on his muscles after a ride, especially since he hasn't ridden in a few days. 
And she also uses stinky stuff on his feet. And this big guy's leaving. See you later. It honestly takes us so long at the barn. We got here like at 10, 10.30, and now it's like 1.30. It just doesn't seem that long, but it is long just to come and ride your horse. They spent a long time grooming them and cleaning them and getting them ready. And it's good that they can do that because during lessons, we can only get here at a certain time because other people have the stalls. So they have less time to get them ready at night when we're in lessons, which is fine. But it is nice that they can come and spend more time on other days. I love it. I love that this barn is really super quiet. We are home. One. Oh, that one's one hatched. That one egg is taking forever. There's one and there's two. So there's still only two new babies in that incubator. This one was all covered in all those shavings. Why did you put them on the couch? It is time to introduce the new baby chickens. <laughs> this is what they look like. They are Easter eggers. So I don't... Whoops. <laughs> hey. He's like... That one likes to hide. I will peck your phone. Run away So how you can tell he's an Easter egger. See his cheeks? Actually, he might not be an Easter Egger. That side looks like. Find me a Easter Egger. Well, this is the other new one. Oh no, the giant Macy. Macy looks giant compared to these chickens. All right, show me an Easter Egger. Okay, so see the puffy cheeks. <laughs> it is adorable. Easter Egger chicks are adorable. See the see the cheeks. So an Easter Egger is a hybrid breed. It's a cross between a certain chicken. It's a cross between two chickens and they are bred because they will lay a blue egg or a green egg or a pink egg. Hopefully this one lays pink. Yeah, I don't that know one. if any of these ones will lay pink. But anyway, hopefully some of these new baby chicks are girls. But I love her. She's, a, she's adorable. Show them my favorite. So this one's my favorite. Actually, they look exactly the same color now. It was almost pure white when it was born, but it's starting to get a little bit of yellow in it now. So these are the new ones. We have a bunch more, but this is basically the only color we got. We got, whoops, hey, <laughs> don't bite. We got all black and white and then this little one, but I think it's a rooster. And it's an Easter egg or two. We see those big cheeks. <laughs> it's adorable. smallest one. This is the smallest one. It's a little black one. I was able to cut some grass today. It felt so good. It's almost like summer here. The area comes tomorrow so I'm going to try and clean up this grass area. I hope it doesn't run on your blow on your pool but look bird poo. So Gabby's cleaning up her pools, finishing up her pools. We got some white paint today. Dripping it all over the grass. Yes, yeah, definitely better than your shoes. You're wearing your brand new sh shoes yeah. and painting. Mm -hmm. Only my kids, you guys. Only my kids. So uh, tomorrow, uh, when the farrier's here, we're going to clean the winter paddock and get it all set up for spring. It's amazing to have, like, green grass and warmer weather. It's still not super warm. It's not like summer, like, super warm. It's like about 12 degrees Celsius, 17 maybe at the most. So getting there nice spring day but it's nice to finally be getting green grass green grass and warm weather that's all i've been waiting for don't you know